Should the Miami Dolphins sign offensive tackle DJ Fluker? Or actually the question should be, is why would the Miami Dolphins sign DJ Fluker? There's been so much hype amongst Dolphins fans about Fluker. To me, it's like the Miami Dolphins have trained the fan base to accept mediocrity. Everybody knows that the Miami Dolphins offensive line needs some serious help, but people seem to be satisfied. Some people seem to be excited that the Miami Dolphins are shopping for offensive linemen at what amounts to the swap shop, the flea market of players. I don't understand it, but people were all over Twitter excited about the prospect of the Miami Dolphins signing a 32 year old man who's been out of the game for three years, all because of some video on Twitter and clips of him at the Alabama Pro Day. Seriously, I gotta ask you, are your expectations that low? You have a franchise quarterback, Tua Tungavailoa, who has proven to be somewhat fragile, and you want to protect his blind side with an offensive tackle who's been out of the game for three years. Seriously, that's what you're all excited about? While every other team shops at the mall, the Miami Dolphins seem to be finding flea markets across the country where they can hopefully dig up some offensive linemen. And what's scary, is the fan base applauds it. It's not as if no one else is available. There are premium offensive tackles available in free agency. Let's take a look at some of the offensive linemen that are still available as of today. So right now I'm on ESPN Plus where they post an article every single day where they update the best remaining players still available in free agency. Now I get the top 20 or 21 here and we're gonna look and see what they have in terms of offensive linemen. So you get down, the first one they have is Odell Beckham, but I've gone ahead and I've highlighted the offensive linemen. So let me just go ahead and scroll to this. Oh, I missed it. There's Dalton Risner, guard, 28, used to play with the Denver Broncos, still available. Down here, we've got Isaiah, Isaiah Wynn, offensive tackle from the New England Patriots, 27 years old, he's still available. Hey, there's Teddy. Scroll down, Donovan Smith, offensive tackle, formerly with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Last year, that's who he played with, 30, still available. Got his center, Connor McGovern, since we've been pilfering the New York Jets, here's another guy, 30-year-old center, who played with the Jets last year. And then you've got Jermaine, and I'm not even gonna try to pronounce his last name, but he's an offensive tackle, 28 years old, formerly with the Los Angeles Raiders. He's still available. So these players are still there for the Miami Dolphins to go shopping at the actual mall of free agency. Why aren't they doing that? And I'm also seeing that some fans think that the NFL draft might be the key for the Miami Dolphins to bulk up their offensive line. To that, I just have one question. Do you really think that by the time the Miami Dolphins pick in the NFL draft, that there's gonna be a player available who's up to the task of protecting to his blind side immediately? Even Omar Kelly knows that's a joke. So y'all can keep getting happy at the scrubs that keep popping up in the rumor mill, but I don't think that's gonna cut it. I guess for the rest of us, all we can hope is that there's a real plan that eventually they show us a real plan to develop an offensive line for the Miami Dolphins. Because thus far, this offensive line management doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Who knows? I could be wrong. Maybe DJ Fluker is a steal. He'll turn out to be a fantastic right offensive tackle. He'll be able to go out there and block for Tua Tungvaluwa and a running game, maybe. But then I gotta ask you a question. Are you really willing to risk the health of your quarterback, an injury prone quarterback who you've gone all in on based upon a maybe? Not me. If I was running the team, no way. I wouldn't want to risk Tua Tungvaluwa's health on a maybe, but I'd love to know what you think. Let me know in the comments if you think that DJ Fluker is that guy who needs to be protecting to his blind side. Talk to you soon, fins up. Is anybody catching on to this Barry guy?